Hey guys, it's Ezekiel from the Real Guys Podcast. I'm here with Mike Black and Mark Ellis. We just got out of the uh, Avatar screening, the 60 minutes of special stuff here at the City Walk, and uh, they said they'd take a couple minutes and we could talk about the film. So, what do you think? I thought it was tremendous. Uh, it really did seem too short. And I don't think the minute of James Cameron's face in 3D should count. <laughs> no, I don't think so either. <laughs> it should not count as James part of James Cameron, you owe us two minutes. Yeah, two James minutes. Cameron comes on and for five minutes says, Hey, I'm James Cameron. <laughs> booga booga. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. No, here's the movie. Here's the movie, though. I made it. I made it. So check it out and tell me what you think. Right? And then it just said Avatar. And we all went, fuck. <laughs> Can you say fuck on here? Yeah, Absolutely, it's the internet. You can Already did twice, so it's it's such a like a, a weird looking world. It's so cool to see and to be there for 16 minutes. It's kind of like getting dropped off in Hawaii with a beautiful model for 16 minutes. They're like, all right, and go. <laughs> Time to come back. And you're like, oh, uh, it, it's like when you're at a strip club. I paid for five songs, yeah. um, so and 16 minutes is normally more than I need, but in this case, I really wanted more. <laughs> right. Someone had told me it was like Fern Gully on acid, and I was like, Fern Gully that's space. a really accurate description. Yeah. I was thinking it's probably what's going to happen when Balco opens up a lab in Ferngold. <laughs> this is what Sting is going to look like when he when he's in the rainforest and he's pumping the roids. And you know he'll be first in line for this for oh, yeah. process. Yeah, he's going to look. I'd like to be a 12-foot tall Smurf, please. <laughs> Where do I go? Excuse me, sir. You cannot bring your guitar into Avatar. We get it, you Sting. There's no music in Avatar. Yeah. Did you guys get to see it? You, this is the first time besides a trailer that you guys have seen the footage. I know they screen right. stuff at uh, Comic-Con. So this is literally the first time besides the trailer that you've seen it. I knew, yeah. James, here's what I, I knew that James Cameron, in between deep sea expeditions to the Titanic to find <laughs> Rose's copper bracelet or whatever the hell he's looking for, Part he was making ocean. a movie called Avatar. That, that's what I know. Other than that, the only thing I know about Avatar is what I learned from Magic the Gathering. <laughs> hey ladies, what I'm you single. From, from Magic? <laughs> what exactly did you learn about Avatars from Magic? I learned how to eat at the Olive Garden alone and be proud. <laughs> Yeah, I, I honestly at first thought it was about the cartoon Avatar. Right. And I was like, why is James Cameron working on that? The, and they, they the actually... The Windmaster kid. Fox actually told him, told M. Night Shyamalan that he couldn't use the Avatar title because they were making a better film. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I so they had to take some I hope that's how they worded it then. Um, <laughs> listen, we're James making Cameron's a much better film. Uh, listen, Knight, uh, I mean, if you were doing this right after The Sixth Sense, yes. But we just saw <laughs> The Lady in the Water, and <laughs> you're not allowed to no. use big words in your movies <laughs> anymore. <laughs> You get the, a, and deer. Those are your words. Do what you will with them, scary boy. Avatar. Yeah. Which is why he's doing the A Deer trilogy now. <laughs> M. Night Shyamalan's A Deer A Deer, comma, the. <laughs> There's a twist ending somewhere. So you guys go see it when it comes out. Oh, absolutely. They offered us, uh, they said, uh, you can come see the midnight showing of it when it comes out. It's August 21st, and they're offering us tickets for the December 18th at midnight show already. So. And I'm going to do it. But but what I loved <laughs> is that they also offered us, uh, they said, you know, playing tonight, the ugly truth. So make sure Let's go, guys. That's the exact right demographic. We got them. <laughs> they really spoke to us. That's right. Yeah. And it's, it's going to be weird to look at a bunch of avatars in 3D and then go see Catherine Heigl. And, you know. Oh, yeah. Just the <laughs> amount of people so in the audience yeah. that were like, Catherine Heigl, motherfucker. As soon as they said that. I that thought was it was better than the clip. That would probably be a sold-out show tonight. <laughs> yeah. I love how sad the line is going to be for the for the, the line for that you're going to be in. The uh, yeah. the, hi, it's August 21st. And I'd like to buy uh, one ticket for the <laughs> readings, which is like saying I don't have any confidence in myself to get a date in the next four months. Yeah, so that gives me four months to shape up <laughs> and really get my shit together. I'm not even buying it. I could return it when I got there and say no, it didn't work out in the four-month yeah. period. I, like I already you, know. I'm just no, just one. I like you buying two tickets to Avatar on December 18th, and they're like at a bar somewhere in October. You're gonna meet a girl, and you're gonna be talking to her, and you're gonna be Guess looking in your wallet, and you're gonna be like, she's not worth it. <laughs> not the one. But what are you doing December 18th? Yeah, I, I have yeah. no idea what I'm doing December 18th. Um, but yeah, but overall, I am. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty excited to see it. It was unlike anything that you know I had seen before. And uh, I hate wearing 3D glasses, yep. but I'll do it for this movie. I'll do it for you, Jim. It's good to have you back above water, where you belong. T2, <laughs> damn it! You don't have gills. <laughs> I'll be back. Who would have known? Who would have thought it would take like 13 years? To yeah. back? You really got to get over this boat, man. It's sunk. Get over it. It's it's gone. Leo's gone. Please don't let anyone else take over the franchise after this one. Yeah.
it always sucks. Everything that's happened in Terminator <laughs> since has just that's, totally sucked. We saw that uh, prep very prep wow. this year. Yeah, yeah. Ter yeah, Terminator's become like that one. He's, he's, Terminator's become the guy that with the one hot girlfriend that in college and they broke up, and now he's just dating a string, a trailer trash. It's like, dude, <laughs> you gotta go to rehab. The Terminator's the girl that you thought was hot in high school, yeah. and you've caught up with her since, and you're like, oh shit. In, in high school, she was T2. At the yeah. reunion, she was Terminator Salvation. Yeah. Like, so how many kids do you have now? Yeah. Ah, you don't believe in pulling out at all. What happened, man? It's good. Yeah, that's, that's a nice cross around your neck, sweetheart. I had a crush on Octomom. When did that happen? Alright, so we're going to see. We're, we're getting this on camera. Me and Mike Black are going to go see Avatar. Immediately. You heard it here. That's yes. right. So ladies, if you're wondering where we are, December 18th. That's where you have to right go. Right back in here. Yeah, right in the movie. And this is a writer of my contract. I only get interviewed by people with biblical names. So thank yeah. you, Ezekiel, for you're, doing you're this. Very welcome. My name's Mark. I wrote the good gospel. You know, it's, <laughs> it's got the story, but it's got a couple zany one-liners too. So it keeps some levity. You know, <laughs> it's the Jesus story. Special guest appearance by Randy Quaid. <laughs> there we go. Check out Schmo's note, kids. Yeah, uh, it really does seem like the ass is kicking in right now. Like <laughs> at somewhere. For a while, there was a nice interview going on, yeah, we, and then it just went off the a little bit, bit, a little bit. You <laughs> tell us where we can find some of your stuff. Yeah, you can go to uh, YouTube and just search Schmoes No or Mark Ellis or my buddy Christian Harlow. How do you spell Schmoes in case the, um, the yeah, average fan out the, there would the, like to? I don't it. really handle the spelling. Is it um, S C H M O E? It is S C H M O E S K N O W. Schmoes No. We review movies. And we will definitely be reviewing Avatar as soon as it comes out. And if you thought I was funny, add me on Facebook at Mike Black Attack. And you guys are both stand-up comedians. Obviously, we can tell that. Thank you for uh, yeah. 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 But we'll sit down on occasion and be hilarious, too. <laughs> oh. Come see us at the comedy store. This interview is over. Thanks, guys. <laughs>